why, it, why should New Yorkers believe you're committed to affordability when uh, you're planning a $9 congestion pricing toll as well as internet sales tax, payroll mobility tax, um, and apparently have been planning these for months without letting them know? I disagree with that. There was a law enacted by the legislature, signed by my predecessor. Congestion pricing is the law of the state. I'm the person who stepped up and said $15 is too much or else there would have been millions of dollars more paid by New Yorkers by now that I stopped. So I think the exact opposite of your premise is true. And you talk about the other programs that you cannot turn a blind eye to that I just enumerated. What we've been doing, you know, billions of dollars in tax cuts and providing assistance for seniors and, and what you heard here today and what we're doing for childcare, and what we're doing for back to school shopping and what we're doing for, I mean, I don't know how you don't look at that list and conclude that this governor is doing everything in her power and more to ensure that we improve affordability knowing it's a challenge. I mean, I know where I come from. I know the people still left in the trailer park that my parents lived in. I know how people are struggling all across our state. And I'll continue to do everything in my power to fight for them, to reduce the cost of living here in New York. So I think, I am not a, pardon me? Then why unpause the toll? Why unpause the toll? Yeah. I do, what do you know? I mean, do you know something I don't know? You are discussing unpause. Uh, everybody's asking me questions. I understand the, I understand the impatience. Um, but I said we'll have this resolved and publicly announced by the... Workers need, need to know this, though, if they're planning their budgets for next year, those sort of things. Why, why well, isn't this being... New Yorkers who are planning for a $15 increase will be very happy that this governor stood up and says it is not $15. I will let you take that and remind the voters that there's one person who stood up and said, no, it's too much, and heard a lot of commentary on it. So that's who I am. I will stand up for everyday New Yorkers every day of the week. Despite, right. just even, so. a, even a $9 toll would, would evaporate the $1,000 and keep me, let me, in 111 or so days. And also, it is the law of New York State, right? It's the law of New York State. I don't break the law in New York State. That is the law, and I'm doing the best I can to ensure that all the requirements are met the environmental issues, the congestion mitigation, and most important to me is funding for the MTA in a way that is affordable for New Yorkers where it would not have been had I not stepped in. That is what should be recognized. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.